so much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout, Blippi! Oh, hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we are at Live, Love, Play in Los Angeles, California. Woo! I am so happy to be playing here today. Wait a second, do you see that smiley face? Oh, come here. This is a smiley face and it is so happy. Woo. You and I are gonna learn about emotions today. And right now, I am happy. Okay, let's go play inside, come on. Come on inside. Whoa! Look at this place. It is so tall. Whoa! First things first. I have to take off my shoes. All right. One shoe. And. Two shoes. <laughs> Come here. Whoa. Oh, hey, look. More emotions. And this is an excited emotion. Oh, I am so excited to be playing in here with you. Okay. <laughs> oh, look. A slide. Oh. <laughs> Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Three, two, one. Whoa! <laughs> that was awesome. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, look at this. It's a beautiful couch. <laughs> Watch. Wait a second! No time for napping, it's time for playing! <laughs> Dolphin with me? <laughs> oh, that's so much fun. Ooh, come over here. Look. Wow, a big yellow slide. Let's go slide down it. Come on. on them. Blue, light green, and green. Wow, so colorful. Come on. Okay. Okay, this is where the slide is. Come on. Ah! Ah! I'm so mad. Uh, uh. Hey, look. Mad. Here's another emotion. See this? Yeah, this is mad. And I just trip and fell. And I hurt my knee and it made me mad. Mad's that feeling when you have like smoke coming out your ears. And your head gets so red. It's okay to get mad. But when you're mad, you need to take some breaths. Ready? Oh, 
Okay, I'm not mad anymore. Let's go play some more. <laughs> bye bye, mad. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. We're at the top of the yellow slide. All right, are you ready? Here I go. Yellow slide was awesome! Ooh, let's see what else there is around here. Oh, hey! <laughs> Little places where you can do your makeup. Hmm. Ha, so pretty. <laughs> All right. Ooh, look at this. This is a princess castle. Whoa. <gasps> Another one. Ooh, looks like a lounge. Ooh, a massive bed. Oh. oh, wait a second. Do you recognize this? Yeah, remember? Oh, oh yeah, this is where I took a nap. Okay, here I go. <laughs> Time for napping. It's time for playing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, whoa, whoa, look. Rah, a big excavator. Ooh, and some blocks. Red blocks, yellow, blue, green. Let's stack them on top of each other. Okay, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Come on. Oh, I'm getting dizzy. Oh. Wow. See this? This is a trampoline. Whee. Can jump on it. Whoop! <laughs> Wee! Look, I'm jumping! Whoa! 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 I just got surprised! <laughs> Did you see that? Yeah! Surprised! Oh, look! Oh, whoa! Surprise is when an unexpected event happens. Like that! Did you see that? Dee Dee just jumped out and said, Blippi! <laughs> okay, come on. Ooh, a tunnel. Here I go. Hey! Whoa. Whoa! Look at this! This is a pyramid! And that's a shape, a 3D shape. See how it's a triangle? Yeah! <laughs> yeah, a pyramid! <laughs> Ooh. Whoa. 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 <laughs> Another pyramid! That's so cool! Whoa! Look at this! This is a spiked ball. It's a sphere with green spikes on it. Here, come here, I have something to tell you. Wow! <laughs> I almost got you. Whoa! <laughs> okay, enough of that. Good job. Ooh, wait a second. Do you see that? That yellow slide through there? Whoa, goes around and around and around and around in circles. I think you and I should go to the top and then I'll go slide down it. Come on. Whoa, look, 
down it. You see that? Okay, I'll slide down there. Hello, here I come. <laughs> okay, see you at the bottom. Whoa. go. <laughs> it makes me so sad just knowing we have to go now. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm so sad. <laughs> and see this right here? This is sad because I'm sad because I can't play anymore. Sad's that feeling when you just want to cry. <laughs> But wait a second, I think I have a little bit more time to go down the slide one last time. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go to the top and then slide down. Get ready. learning about emotions with you. Hey, this is a pinata. I think before we go, I should whack it, break it open, and see what's inside. Are you ready? Whoa. <laughs> All right, here I go. So much for playing with me at Live Love Play in Los Angeles, California. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Let's spell my name together. Ready? B L I P P I. Blippi! Good job. See ya. Bye bye. See what's behind me? Yeah, a bunch of logs. Whoa! Today, I'm at the Port of Olympia in Olympia, Washington. And these logs are chopped down, exported to different countries, so then they can build houses. <laughs> but Washington State is really cool because for every one tree that gets chopped down, the companies here have to plant at least three new trees. <laughs> So, I think we should explore the port. But first, I need some safety equipment. <laughs> I love being safe. All right, let's go explore the port. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that? That is a crane and it's so big. I love cranes because they can grab things from the ground and lift them really high up in the air. Yeah, really heavy things. <laughs> I'm gonna go explore this crane. Whoa! Check it out. These are the crane's wheels and tires. Yeah, the tires are black and the wheels are the color blue. <laughs> Did you also notice how they're too wide? Yeah, one, two. Yeah, it's not just one, it's two. <laughs> hey. I have an idea. Why don't we count all of these wheels and tires? All right, I'll start over here. Okay, we have one, two, three, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight wheels and tires. But wait a second. Remember how I said they're too wide? Okay, so we have eight times two. Eight times two. That's 16. <laughs> Good job. But wait a second. We're only on one side. So it has a whole other set on the other side. So here we go. 16 times two. <gasps> That's really hard. Let's see. 16 times two. <gasps> 32 wheels and tires. Whoa. Good job. Oh, do you see that? There's actually a worker right here. Let's go talk to him. Hello. Hey, hey Blippi. Hey, who are you? I'm Frank. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. What do you do here? Uh, I maintain equipment on the marine terminal and today we're looking at the Gotwald Mobile Harbor Crane. Whoa, a crane? That's so cool. Can we go up? Heck yes, All let's right. go. Let's go, come on. down in the chair. <laughs> this is where the operator sits. Whoa! Look at how high we are! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! This is so cool! So we're about 90 feet in the air, roughly. That's about 30 yards or meters. <laughs> Whoa! And do you see that those hooks right there? They're used to grab things. This can grab anything from logs, to boats, to pallets, to, yeah, so many things. Whoa, and come check this out. Whoa, look at those big cables. This is the hoist room. Whoa, they're so big, look. Ooh, and this room is the electrical room. Whoa, look at all these. Whoa. Hey, look, there's another worker. <laughs> Looks like he's just working. Hey. <laughs> cool. All right, let's get out of this place. Whoa, now we're going into the engine room. Whoa, look at how big this engine is. <laughs> Frank, how big is this engine? It's so big, it's got 12 cylinders, and it's a twin turbo Cummins diesel. Whoa, that is a big, powerful engine. Whoa, look at how big that hook is. <laughs> Whoa, watch out, it's swinging. Whoa, did you See how big that is? Wow. That's what they use to pick up really heavy things. Whoa. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Whoa. Check it out. This is a massive ship. Yeah, this vessel is the vessel that they load all these logs onto. And then it goes out into the ocean and transports and delivers the logs. <laughs> Whoa, hey, what does this sign say? Restricted area, authorized personnel only. <laughs> That's you and I, let's go. Whoa. Those are some big logs, and there's so many of them. I think you and I should count them. Ready? 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, ten thousand four hundred and forty four, ten thousand four hundred and forty five, ten thousand four hundred and forty six, ten thousand. Oh no, I lost track. <laughs> okay, well, anywho, I think we should let all the log stackers get back to work. So we should probably get out of here and then they'll stack some more logs on the ship. <laughs> all right, see ya. Whoa, this is a small boat. <laughs> Whoa, this is a medium sized boat. Whoa, this is a big boat. <laughs> and what it also has is this travel lift. This travel lift goes right over the water, drops these belts down to the water, and then it can lift up a boat. Or it could do the opposite, where it can hoist a boat, one of those park boats over there, over the water and then drop it down. But hey, check these out. These are some massive belts. They are so strong. Actually, this thing can lift up about the weight of seven school buses. Well, that is so much weight. Okay, let's uh, get out of their way so then they can lift up a boat. This is gonna be cool. Whoa, this machine is so big. Do you see what's happening? Yeah, those belts are lowering down to the water. And then they're gonna submerge themselves in the water. And that's when the boat is gonna go on top of the belts. And then the belts will lift the boat and then transport it to the land. Do you see what they're doing? They're using these poles to pull in the boat, nice and slow so then it doesn't ram up against the dock. Yeah, because this might not be their boat, so they have to be very nice and delicate with it. Just like when you're borrowing someone else's toy, you wanna make sure that you treat that toy with a lot of respect. Mm -hmm. Whoa, did you see how they just lifted the boat? Yeah, now it's off of the water. Now the tires are gonna roll on the concrete and then bring it back to land. Whoa, that was awesome. Now it's time to scrape. Looks like a lot of barnacles and even some seaweed growth. Whoa! <laughs> that looks yummy, but not for me. <laughs> Whoa! All right, nice and clean. Yeah! Well, I should probably get going now because there's a lot more boats to explore. Yeah, check it out. There's so many. Well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you again. Bye-bye. Hello. Hey, it's me, Blippi. And today, we're at the Hands-On Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. This is gonna be so much fun. I love learning with you. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, hey, this is the build -A gallery. This is where you get to build things. Oh, <laughs> silly me. <laughs> Anywho, you put things together, these pieces of wood, 
And then that is how you build things in the building gallery. Yeah, I almost completed this house. Do you see it? I have a roof right here and the framing of the house and the walls and everything except for the remaining roof and some gravel. That's what we need, gravel to go inside the house. Yeah, the floor needs some gravel. Yeah, we're not gonna use carpet, tile, anything like that. We're gonna use gravel. So let's take this shovel. Yep. And uh, first let's drive the dump truck. <laughs> all right, I think we're close enough to the job site that we can get all the gravel out of the back of the dump truck. All right, okay, let's take the shovel, put it in the wheelbarrow, and then wheel it up. Ah, ah, there we go. Oh, all right. Now we need to shovel some of these big rocks. Ah. Rocks, it's gonna make some for some really good flooring in our house. Ah. Okay, one more scoop. Ah. Ah. There we go. All right, now we need to take it over to the house. Ah. All right. Ooh, wheelbarrows are super nice to use. It makes hauling things a lot easier. Ah. How are we gonna get it in there? Wait a second, I have an idea. Maybe we can use one of these boards that actually should go on the roof. But for now, let's lean it up like this. And then, let's take this wheelbarrow, go up, and let's dump it in, ready? See the floor in here? It's a nice stone floor now. Perfect. All right, now we can put the rest of the roof on. Yeah, just like that. Oh, hard day's work right here. Ugh. There we go. That looks like a great house. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Hey, but before we go to another room, I think we should check out the rest of the tools, like this. Yeah, there's a lot of tools in here. You know what tool this is? This is a jackhammer. Watch how it works. Whoa! It goes up and down super fast and breaks the ground up. Whoa, and look at all of these. Looks like we have a tape measure. So then we can measure things. Ooh, looks like we have a cordless drill. So then we don't have to go really slow with our hand. This just goes wee, wee, wee. <laughs> Ooh, and a big mallet. Yeah, they're kind of like a hammer, but with bigger heads on it. And check this out, an air framing nailer. This is what you use to secure the roof. Yeah, with nails. hibernate during winter time. <laughs> Keeps them nice and warm under snow. Oh, speaking of snow, check it out. This is an ice rink. Yeah, when water freezes, it turns into ice. And I think you and I should go skating. Oh, but first, we need to pick out some socks. Hmm, let's see, which socks? Hmm, oh, these look nice. Oh, wait a second. I don't 
don't think they should get offended. <laughs> so let's put this back. And how about, uh, these look pretty cool. All right, okay, let's take off my shoes. Yeah, I already have socks on, but that's okay. These are really cool. And I'm gonna put them on the outside of my feet. Are you ready? Ha <laughs> ha! Three, two, one! earlier how I said this is ice? It's actually practice ice for the sport of sock skating. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Why don't I do a dance for you? A figure skating routine. Are you ready? Hit the music. Okay, let's go downstairs now. Wait a second. The cool thing about this children's museum is you can go downstairs with the stairs as well as the slide. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the blue slide. Ready? See you down there. smoke on the inside. Whoa! <laughs> oh, now I'm all wet. Whoa, look at these two tubes. They have smoke coming out. <laughs> Check this out. Whoa, when you add these pipes, you can direct where the smoke goes. Whoa, that's so cool. Oh, Check this out. What is this? It looks like a water tornado. Its name is the volcano. <laughs> so cool. Hey, speaking of balls, whoa, we have one ball, two balls, where are you? Three balls, four balls. Okay, now just three balls. Let's get one more ball. Oh, oh. Four. 
four balls. Okay, let's go over here. Whoa. And this hole is where you put the balls. One yellow ball. One pink ball. One red ball. One purple ball. Whoa. Where did they go? I don't know. Check this out. Three, two, one. driving this police car. Yep, we have the steering wheel. Whoa! And we have the siren. And we can't forget about the lights. Whoa! It's so loud in here! Whoa! All right! Whoa! Oh, I sure do love police cars. And I also love Fire trucks! Wow. Fire trucks are great because they go to houses and buildings and pieces of land with fires and put them out. Whoa. Hey, yeah, look, you can sit inside this fire truck. Whoa! Do you hear the siren? Whoa! Whoa, and I just turned on the lights. Whoa! I love fire trucks. Most of them are the color red. Hey, speaking of red, look, this is an ambulance. Whoa! Oh, the back is a big cube. Hey, yeah, check it out. Come on. Whoa, let's go for a ride. <laughs> Ambulances are great because they show up if anyone needs any help. Yeah, with their health problems. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> okay, and I think the front also has some lights and some siren. Whoa! Move right around here and let's drive the ambulance. What is your location? Oh, my location? My location is at the Children's Museum. Whoa! And we got the lights. Let's go! Whoa! Let's go save some people! Whoa! Okay, and there's actually another emergency vehicle way up top. Do you see it? It's really high in the sky. Let's go get it. Yeah, it's not an airplane, but it's kind of like an airplane because it flies in the air. But it has rotors, not jets and propellers. Well, some of them have jets. But anywho, this is a helicopter. Whoa, let me fly the helicopter. Whoa. Whoa. All right. Whoa. Here we go. Yeah, even helicopters can save people. Yeah, they're emergency vehicles. And they even can put out fires. There's so many uses for helicopters. Whoa. on Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is spell my name. Yeah, will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. Choo choo. Choo choo. Ha <laughs> Wee. Whoa. Whoa! Do you see what I'm doing? I'm spraying water out of this hose. And do you see what vehicle it's attached to? A fire truck! <laughs> I love fire trucks because firefighters get a ride in them 
from point A to point B and put out a fire. And how it goes, yeah. These wheels and tires goes on the road because these roll. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and that is why it's another form of transportation. Whoa. <laughs> whoa. This is a mode of transportation. Some people travel by their coochie. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa, do you see that? Yeah, that is an airplane. And airplanes are another form, whoa, of transportation. I'm going to get inside and fly the airplane. Whoa! Look at this! Whoa! All right, here we go! Whoa! Yeah! Woohoo! I love flying airplanes! Airplanes are so much fun! Whoa! 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 <laughs> Whoa! Do you see what it is? Wow! It's a giant space shuttle! Yeah, how do you get to outer space? With a car? Nope. A boat? Nope. An airplane? Nope. A space shuttle! Yeah! If we go in here, since it's a mode of transportation to go to outer space, we can fly to outer space together. Okay, let's see here. Okay, unlocked. Great, yeah. Okay, unlocking mode of transportation to the moon. Yeah, unlocked, good job. All right, here we go. Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! We're going to the moon! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! That slide is awesome! <laughs> Flippy. And check this out. This is a giant moose. And today, you and I at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington are going to see some awesome animals. Maybe we'll see a moose. I am so excited. Let's go. Bye-bye, moose. Whoa, check out this radical off-road vehicle. This is so cool. This is what you and I are going to take the tour in. Let's inspect it. Make sure it's nice and safe for us. Check it out. These are some big wheels and tires. Whoa, and look at that tread. That is some big tread for some massive off-roading. Yeah. Whoa. Check out that up there. That is the canopy top. Just in case if it rains, nothing will hit our heads. It's kind of like an umbrella, but for a vehicle. All right. Let's check out inside. Whoa, hey, check this out. Hello, hello, Northwest Trek. Flippy's here. Can I come on the tour? Hey there, Flippy, you're clear for the tour. All right, you heard him. We're ready to take the tour. All right, first we need to finish our vehicle tour. All right, check this out. This is where you fill up the vehicle with gas. Yep, it's nice and full. All right, there we go. Oh, now into the back of the vehicle. Whoa! 
check it out! Whoa, there's so many seats back here! Whoa! <laughs> this is so cool! I'm gonna sit right here so I can get a bird's eye view of all the fun animals we're about to see! Let's go! Woohoo! Do you see those animals? Those animals are elk. Hey, look at that one. That one has big antlers. That one is a boy. And all those other ones are girls. <laughs> see you later, elk. <laughs> oh, looks like they're playing. See ya. Oh, let's go explore some more animals around here. Check it out! This is a bison! Whoa! And do you see how it has some fur on the side? Yeah, some really short fur and some long fur. And that long fur is called a cape. Yeah, that means this bison is a boy! Whoa! This bison is so big, it weighs the size of a small car. <laughs> Oh, this is so much fun at the Northwest Trek. <laughs> Whoa, do you see that animal? That is a moose. One way I can tell that that is a moose is the thing that it has under its chin. Yeah. <laughs> That's called a bell. Whoa, and there's another moose over here. Hello, moose. Hey, moose. <laughs> Do you see how that moose is moving its ears? Yeah, they have some big ears. They can probably hear really good. Let's see. Hello, moose. Hello. Hey. <laughs> I was being really quiet, and it heard me. <laughs> Check out those animals. Those animals are big horned sheep. Can you see their horns? Yeah, if you look at them from the side, it kind of looks like a circle. <laughs> wow, what cool animals. Whoa! This is so much fun at Northwest Trek. We are finding so many animals. They are so cute. <laughs> There's three goats right here. Hey, I think you and I should count them. One, two, three. Yeah, three white goats. Oh, they're so cute. Hello, goat. Hey. <laughs> oh. oh, looks like two are leaving. Three minus two is one. But they're still there. So there's three. <laughs> so silly. Bison is massive! <laughs> and those goats are really small. It's so cool that these two species of animals are living right next to each other and they're getting along. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Northwest Trek is such a great place to see animals that are native to the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> yeah! Huh, well, we gotta keep going because we have so many more animals to see. Let's go! Whoa! Do you see those birds? Oh, oh! They're so big! Those are bald eagles. Do you see how that one has a white neck and head? Yeah, because that is an adult. But that one right there with the darker neck and head that means it's a juvenile, which is five years and younger. Hey, how old are you? <laughs> cool! <laughs> Whoa! This is the wingspan of a bald eagle. 
Whoa! It has a bigger wingspan than I do! Whoa! Go! 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 Whoa! Do you see that animal? <laughs> that animal is a raccoon! Whoa! Raccoons are so cute! <laughs> Yeah, you can find raccoons in a lot of places, like out in the wilderness and even in the city. Yeah, sometimes I hear my garbage at night getting ruffled up. <laughs> and actually, it's a raccoon just trying to find some food. <laughs> Do you see that? Those are itty bitty chunks of food for an animal called river otters. I am so excited! <laughs> oh, do you see those animals? Those are the river otters I was talking about earlier. <laughs> and they're eating lunch. Oh, come check them out. Hey, there they are. Wow, <laughs> they look really hungry. River otters can actually dive down 60 feet underwater. Whoa! That's about 20 meters. That is really deep. <laughs> Check them out. Whoa! That is a wolverine. It has some really sharp claws. <laughs> and its teeth and jaw is so sharp it can crunch through bone. Whoa, and these animals are really fierce. They have to be fierce because they live in the wilderness. Whoa, <laughs> what cool animals. Whoa, do you see those animals? Yeah, those are bears. They're actually grizzly bears. <laughs> These are the biggest bears that we have in the Pacific Northwest. Oh, they're so big! And their smell is so good, they can smell food from 20 miles away. Wow, that's like about 32 kilometers. That is so far. Hey, I have an idea. How about you and I act like bears? So we get on all fours, but when you hear music, then you stand up. Ugh! and growl and dance like a bear. Ready? All right, act like a bear. today at Northwest Trek in Eatonville, Washington. Wow, we sure did learn about a lot of Pacific Northwest animals today, didn't we? <laughs> yeah, I really enjoyed learning with you. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I, -P -P -I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you soon. Bye-bye. So much to learn about. It'll make you want to shout. Blippi! Hey, look at where I'm at now. Right now, I'm at Cares in Burien, Washington. Yeah. C-A-R-E-S. Cares. Yeah. Cares is an animal shelter. Yeah, this is where the animals live until maybe someone like you comes down to then adopt the pet. These pets need a new home. Let's see what pets are inside. Do you see this dog? Yeah, this is a really small dog. It's kind of like a baby dog. <laughs> Yeah, really small dogs like this. These are called puppies. <laughs> Here you go. Ooh, 
this is Sapphire. Oh, she's such a cute kitty. Hey, Sapphire. How are you? Oh, she's so soft. This is Cuddles. <laughs> she loves to cuddle. Oh, she's so soft. And she loves to play. Wow, that was so much fun spending some time at my local animal shelter. Well, hey, even if you can't adopt a pet, you can still come down and volunteer your time. Yeah, you can come on down and pet the pets. Maybe they'll even let you walk a pooch <laughs> or play with a cat in the little cat room. <laughs> well, that was so much fun. Right now, I'm at Pause and Relax in Burien, Washington. Yeah, it's a daycare. Ooh, Lino, does that feel good? <laughs> yeah, a daycare that has a playground. You know, a playground that you get to play at? Yeah, this is a doggy playground, and Lino and I are playing here. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we let Lino run around? Whoa, and playgrounds are a lot more fun when there's a lot of friends. <laughs> Let's bring on some doggy friends. <laughs> Whoa, look at how many friends Lino has. Okay, now it's time for Lino's bath and haircut. Oh, I bet he's going to feel so clean and so fresh after this. <laughs> All right, let's take him inside. Here we go, Lino. Check it out. Look at this pink platform. Yeah, this is what all the pooches stand on. And this is a nice purple belly strap right here. And then a neck strap. Yeah, this is called a groomer's helper. So then it makes sure that the pooch doesn't fall off the table while it's getting groomed. Hey, come check this out. Whoa, see this toolbox? There's a lot of things that the groomers use inside this toolbox. Wow, that is so cool. All right, first we have some shampoo. This is plum flavored shampoo. <laughs> oh, and it looks like we have some clippers up here. Wow. <laughs> That's what you put on the dog's hair and then it trims it. Ooh, this files down the nails of the dog. Let's turn it on. Whoa, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, wow. Yeah, these, yeah, these are like scissors. Yeah, but they're actually called shears. Wow, a dog's hair is a lot more fine than a human's hair. And these scissors can really cut a dog's hair really good. So let's put these on the platform. Let's put the the red colored ones. Okay. Gotta be really careful if you use these shears. Perfect. <laughs> okay. 
What else do we need to cut Lino's hair? Hmm, let's see. Oh! <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> hey, do you want a haircut? <laughs> <laughs> Looks like their hair's already cut. Oh, look at this. Wow, a comb. Yeah, just like how you and I comb our hair and brush our hair. Dogs need that too. Wow. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> okay, let's put this on the platform. Okay, next to the pair of shears. All right, what else is over here? Wow, looks like we have some sanitation spray. So then when Lino's done, you sanitize everything. So then the next dog can get its hair cut. Whoa, sugar cookies. I love sugar cookies. This is sugar cookie dog perfume. <laughs> this definitely should go over there. Check this out. Another drawer. Wow. There is a lot of cool things in this. Look at that. That kind of looks like a brush. But it doesn't look like a normal brush or a comb. This is called a slicker brush. <laughs> All right. We'll put that over there as well. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Let's see. Remember from earlier these clippers up here? Yeah, see this? These are clipper attachments. You put them on the top and then that is what determines the length of hair. See that compared to way shorter. <laughs> okay, let's bring this and a green attachment. Whoa. <laughs> All right. I think we have everything we need <laughs> to cut Lino's hair. All right. So we have clippers, shears, scissors, <laughs> A comb, some dog perfume, <laughs> and a slicker brush. There's a lot more things in there that we'll probably use, but for now, this is good. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Whoa, look at Lino! They took off so much hair. Look! <laughs> Whoa! This is a bunch of Lino's hair. <laughs> wow, it's so soft. Ah, yeah, I could make a pillow out of this. Woo! <laughs> wow! <laughs> hey! <laughs> you like Lino's hair? Does it smell good? <laughs> it's so silly. Big fluffy ears. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> wow. Woo. And look at his spooky bandana. <laughs> oh, there's some pumpkins on it. Ooh. And it looks like a llama with a cape. <laughs> wow. All right, Lino. We can go home now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> bye bye. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs>
me, Blippi, and today I'm at the Hands-On Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. And I am so excited because this place, you get to learn so much. <laughs> Let's go! I was just using this telescope to see some really cool things. Whoa! Wow, speaking of cool, look at this wall! Wow, there's a lot of pumps that pushes the air through these tubes. And check this out. Let's take a green handkerchief and put it right in here. Or it's a scarf, ready? Shall we do it again? But this time, let's turn this. And now it's gonna take a different path because it blocked the air from going the original path. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> that was fast. Okay, let's go right over here and try a different color. Like this yellow scarf and this orange scarf. Ready? Three, two, one! Whoa! Whoa! Under the leg! <laughs> Woohoo! Yellow and orange! Whoa! What is this? This is where you can build a rocket ship and then on the other side, blast it off. All right, first we need this wrap around one piece of white paper. Yeah, here we go. Yeah. And then we take a piece of tape. <laughs> the tape is really nice. Two, tape two pieces of paper together. Just like this. You can also use glue, but glue sometimes gets a little messy. So this time we're just gonna use tape. All right, now, have the body of the rocket. Okay, now we need to make fins just like this. Hmm, let's see here. How do we do this? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, let's cut them. It used to be a big rectangle, but now I'm gonna go like this. made a triangle. Okay, now let's fold it like that. Okay, there's one. Now, now we have another triangle. Yeah. Okay, fold that. Now we can tape these fins on the body of the rocket. Ah, that tape is really tough. Okay. Okay, there's one fin. How does that look? Really good. And then we'll do a fin on the other side. There we go. Yeah, how does that look? That looks really good. <laughs> now we need to do the nose cone. We can use the same piece of paper. All right, so it looks like we do a little circle. But then, we go like this. It's kind of a circle on one side, half circle, and then makes a point. So then, looks like you roll it up, just like that. Perfect. Now, ugh, we can take this, whoa. We're almost done. All right, now let's tape this to the rocket. <laughs> My rocket. Ugh. Doesn't look that good, but we'll see how it flies. <laughs> let's also take some of these from previous people. And maybe one of these will fly really good, just in case 
if mine doesn't fly, this one looks like it might fly really good. We'll bring this right over there. Okay, this is the launch pad. So first thing you have to do is put it right on the launch pad. All right, this is the rocket that I made. And then we need to pressurize it. There we go. All right, and this is the launch button. I'm gonna launch it. Five, four, three, two, one. Whoa! Oh, we did it! Yeah, good job! That was the rocket that you and I made. All right, and remember that rocket that we grabbed from the recycling bin? <laughs> Let's see how good this person's rocket goes. All right, okay. Ooh, that's on there nice and snug. Gotta pressurize it. Woo! T minus five, four, three, two, one, zero! Oh! Hey, look! <laughs> Maybe that's why it was in the recycling bin. <laughs> That's so silly. <laughs> hey, come on. Whoa, this looks like an art studio. Whoa, and check that out. That looks like a homemade robot. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that is art because someone made it. Ooh, even a sink. So then you can wash your hands. So you might get a little dirty in the art studio. Whoa. This area is really cool because it has hot glue guns. They're turned off right now, but it melts this glue really hot. And then you can glue things like that really quick. Whoa, hey, look at these. These are art pieces that other kids made. Wow, they look so beautiful and so colorful. Whoa, let's keep exploring. I love creating things. <laughs> oh! Oh, hey! Hi! Who are you? My name is Bryn. Ooh, that's Welcome a nice to... name. Welcome to the Make Space. Oh, the Make Space? Whoa! What do you do at the Make Space? Here we can make all sorts of arts and crafts. We can build robots, we can do some painting, we can even do some drawing and coloring. Whoa! That sounds like fun. Do you have an art project that I can do? We sure can. Would you like to build a crown? Oh, sure. This right here, you can take that and go ahead and decorate how you would like it. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. Bye-bye. All right, let's make a crown together. Wow. All right, so let's take this. And it looks like we take these yellow things and wrap it around our head. Oh, wait, it's not big enough. Wait a second, I have an idea. Let's take this stapler and staple two together, just like that. And now, it can definitely wrap all the way around my head. So let's make sure it's the correct size. Perfect. There we go. There we go. Now, I have some extra that I'm gonna take a pair of scissors and cut off the extra. Yeah, see? Now, it's a circle, and this will fit on my head. Yeah, just like that. All right, let's put the extra back in here. And now we get to use all of these things to decorate. So, let's put the stapler back. And now, let's take this marker and color some blue squigglies on it. Yeah, that looks really nice. Ooh, yeah. Hmm, what other color? Maybe a purple marker. And we'll do some squigglies, but the other opposite way. Whoa. And we'll go And then this side, we'll do zigzags. Wow. Down the middle. Ooh, and we'll do some black. Whoa, this is looking so good. There we go. Okay, 
now we have some yellow things that are are uh, nice and soft. Tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> that tickled me. Okay, let's put some yellow things right here, just like that. See that? Yeah, this is looking really good. Good job. Okay, another one. Wow. We will do a third one. Perfect. There we go. Move those like that. Alright, how is this looking? Really good? <laughs> I bet I know one thing that's missing. I think it's missing a flower. <laughs> Okay, I'll put that right there. How do I look? <laughs> now you can call me King Blippi. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> Good job being creative. <laughs> tickets, get your tickets. <laughs> Who wants a ticket to my show? <laughs> yeah, I'm selling tickets to my show. <laughs> do you want to see my routine? Yeah, it's gonna be really funny. Okay, I gotta go backstage and get ready. Meet me back there, okay? Oh no, this isn't good. I'm not prepared at all. Oh, okay. Okay, Blippi, you got this. Blippi, you got this. Okay, okay, I got this. Ladies and gentlemen, Blippi! Test! Testing! Oh, okay. Welcome, everyone. I have some really funny jokes for you. <laughs> okay, what do you call a dinosaur that's sleeping? A dinosaur. <laughs> okay, um, why did the child cross the playground? To get to the other slide. <laughs> oh no, this isn't working. I gotta figure out something fast. Children's Museum in Olympia, Washington. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is spell my name. Yeah, will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. is a skid steer. And back here, that is a real skid steer. Whoa, it's really big. Whoa, big, small, big, small. This right here? Wow, this is a backhoe. Front bucket and back bucket. <laughs> okay, leaf, come over here. Oh, let's get some more leaves. Whoa! 
Cement mixer. Oh, whoa! 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 Cement mixer on top of the tire. It's a dump truck. Oh, let's put some stuff in the back of the dump truck. <laughs> Whoa! And look at these three toys. This is a front loader. This is an excavator. And this is the front loader. <laughs> I thought this was the front loader. This is a bulldozer, but this is the front loader. Oh, check these out. Come over here. Whoa, look at how big this is. Wow. Jeez, this is huge. And look, this is so small. Small excavator, big excavator. Okay. Come over here. Okay, stay there, excavator. Okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. Whoa, look. It's a front loader. It's so big. And this is the front loader toy. But that, come here. Wow, it's so big. That is a real front loader. Oh, what's this? Whoa. This is a bulldozer. And it's really big. And this is a bulldozer toy. much for learning about construction vehicles with me. Come on everyone, let's make learning fun. So much to learn about, it'll make you want to shout. Whippy!